I'm J.R. Church. Welcome to today's analysis of the news. We've been working for the past several days on our December issue of Prophecy in the News magazine. And this is the front cover for December. It's amazing. President-elect Barack Obama is related to President Bush. And we have several pages in the article here uh, that we uh, have prepared for the December issue. It tells about how Barack Obama's mother is related uh, to um, President Bush. Uh, ten generations back uh, to a fellow named Hinckley, Samuel Hinckley, who died in 1662. <laughs> so this is an article you'll want to read. Uh, not only that, but there are uh, other um, roots on his father's side. Now, I'm sending this to uh, the printers uh, by noon tomorrow. It'll probably go out tonight, uh, uploaded on the Internet to their computer. They'll be printing it uh, starting tomorrow afternoon, and then they'll get it in the mail. And so if you want to get it, if you want to get this December issue of Prophecy in the News magazine, I think it's going to be quite popular. We're going to even order or oh, a few extra thousand printed just to be able to uh, uh, fill the orders that will come in for it. If you want to know about the background of Barack Obama and how um, many people are calling him the Messiah, and uh, it's, it's fascinating. All of the things that uh, we have found about him, you need to know about. I'm going to report one in just a few moments. But re remember now, if you'd like to get this December issue of Prophecy in the News magazine, just uh, click on the magazine you see on the front page of our website and it'll take you to a place where you can get three free videos or four free books just by ordering a subscription for one year to Prophecy in the News magazine. If you'd like to have just the December issue, you can uh, get it. It's $2.95 and we'll pay the postage to send it to you. But I'm hoping you'll subscribe for the next year because you help us. Uh, to maintain our ministry and to, to pay for airtime uh, to get the message out. These are exciting days and more exciting than ever before. We've got so many things on the burner that we felt it necessary to put out a daily webcast so that you'll be able to keep up with everything. Well, here's the latest. A Galilee Bedouin claims Obama as a lost member of the tribe. According to the Times of London, about 8,000 Bedouin living in Galilee in northern Israel claim the United States president-elect Barack Obama is a lost member of their tribe. The tribe, based in the northern village of Bir al Maksor, has not yet published the evidence of the so-called family connection. Local council member Abdul Rahman Sheikh Abdullah told the Times they have withheld the claims until now so as not to interfere in the election campaign. He said, we knew about it years ago, but we were afraid to talk about it because we didn't want to influence the election. How about that? He said, we wrote a letter to uh, Barack Obama explaining the family connection, and the Obama, Obama has not yet responded, but he's he believes that he will respond soon. Uh, the claims... Uh, brought a slew of visitors to the small Bedouin village where the tribesmen celebrated Bedouin Obama's victory. And it says here, his 95-year-old grandmother, who first spotted the connection, said, seeing the charismatic senator on television, she noted a striking resemblance to one of the African migrant workers who used to be employed by rich Arab sheiks in the fertile north of the British Mandate Palestine in the 1930s. So it's, it, it looks like... Uh, Barack Obama's grandfather, the father of Obama's father, was a migrant worker from Kenya who went north into Israel, or Palestine as it was called in the 1930s, and uh, went over to visit and to work in and amongst this Bedouin tribe and fell in love with one of the girls from that tribe and took, him, took her back home to Kenya. And uh, it's possible then that Obama's father came from a girl who was a member of this Bedouin tribe, Arab Bedouin tribe in northern Israel. Not Jewish connection here, but Palestinian connection. So you can imagine why Barack Obama is interested in getting the uh, Palestinian situation worked out there. 
Now, he may have Jewish roots, too. We don't know about that. We do know that his wife, Michelle, has a cousin who is one of America's leading rabbis in the Ethiopian congregation of South Chicago. And more about that later. You can read all about it in our upcoming December issue of Prophecy in the News magazine. I hope you'll subscribe to it. And be sure and watch this week's television program. You can see it listed just below. I'm J.R. Church. Tune in again tomorrow for our analysis on the news.